Hi there! Today I am painting a very tiny bird. Uh, well, the painting's tiny. The bird is called a lazuli bunting and he's actually not too uh, small. He is a songbird, but he is a, a larger songbird. And, uh, but a really beautiful bird. Uh, he has a, an, a red, a rusty red breast and a bright blue coloring. And I apologize for, I feel bad about the shaking of the table. I've been experimenting with some new things and think I have it figured out. Uh, but uh, there's a little bit of shaking, so I feel bad again. But um, next time I will uh, rig things up differently so that I don't have that shaking. So um, I'm just starting with, I sketched with a stiff brush, a bit of pyrrolene crimson on the paper. This is a special paper for oil paints that I had also primed with a background of uh, just some extra paint I have. I do that with the paper because it's otherwise it's too absorbent and uh, so I give it a fairly neutral background color. So I'm using, I'll tell you the paints I'm using. I'm using an ultramarine blue, a phthalo blue, a cadmium yellow medium, burnt sienna, I'm not saying these in order, <laughs> white, a titanium zinc white, and a transparent earth orange and viridian green. I'm pretty sure that's all. Yeah, I'm that. I think I have some yellow ochre on the uh, palette as well, and I use a little bit of that in the Forsythia blossom, which is a yellow blossom, which goes nicely against the uh, this bird's coloring and uh, is something that should be blooming any minute here in Illinois. So, uh, yeah, and then so. I've talked about this before, but for the back, the darker colors, I use usually a stiffer brush, like a bristle brush, and then a softer sable brush for the lighter colors uh, to help them go on thicker and uh, to have more control with the lighter colors because they're they're usually the highlights and um, the colors that come forward like the flower petals. For this painting I also used the sable brush for the entirety of the background color which is a mixture of viridian green, ultramarine blue, and the titanium zinc white. So I just um, started with a basic outline of the bird and then uh, and for the bird I'm using a photo uh, it's it's a stock photo and so I've kind of just used it for reference um, he's in a different pose a similar pose but not quite the same the one in the picture um, is posed a little differently and then I just am doing the forsythia from my own memory and the background is just my own choice something that I feel complements this little painting and I kind of suggested the eye because a lot of times the birds have the kind of a light colored uh, a coloring around the eye and then the birds usually have a black eye. There have been some that have a red eye or a different color but uh, mostly the black eyes and uh, it is nice especially when they have a darker head uh, to have that um, light color underneath it's just so you can actually see their eye but it's actually real if you look at the birds eyes they have that a lot of them have the white uh, feathering around their eye. 
And I often turn my painting to do the beak uh, just because it's such a detail and here I am fixing it. This beak, um, he eats a lot of seeds so his beak is actually thicker than some birds. I mean, it's not as thick as say a parrot, but it was definitely uh, kind of like a cardinal beak, but black. It almost looks with the underneath like I could leave his belly the way it is, just um, exposed. But I go ahead and cover it. And my leaf is disappearing, so I'm going to also add some more green paint to my little leaf. Trying to bring everything together now. Sometimes I do leave uh, like on his head. Um, some people might want to add a, a, another stroke. I decide I like the way it looks. His head shape is fine to me and I don't mind the little streakiness coming off it kind of suggests movement, especially since these birds, they're always moving their head about so quickly. And I decide his tail needs a little more length, so I just want to suggest uh, a little more tail too, so I add a little. And also these uh, birds have a little dark color um, at the very tip of their tail. But I don't, um, because his tail is behind him and might be moving, I, I try to make it a little bit blurry if that makes sense. Just adding some highlights and my signature. It's really easy on these small paintings to overdo it. I do add this white, but it's really standing because he has white on his uh back feathers but I try to blend it a little bit here and this is I think when I notice yeah I need a little bit more and I use a stiff brush to just suggest the tip of his tail with a little bit of the sky and atmosphere showing through jiggle jiggle <laughs> So this is a card table, uh, so that's why it's jiggling so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, happy painting!